Here at the European Skills, Competences and Occupations Lab, we have been working on solutions to connect European job seekers and employers. People change their job or career path regularly. The times of looking at job ads in newspapers have passed. Employers and candidates turn to online platforms and tools. Errors occur when CVs and job vacancies pass from one system to another due to conflicts in language, format and syntax. But there is a solution. The ESCO Reality Goggles. These goggles have a number of phenomenal capacities. Take specimen A. The employee that this CV belonged to is a conductor and he wants to find a job abroad. When employers in other sectors or countries read this job title, they might not fully understand it. Looking through the ESCO goggles, this job will be broken down into knowledge, skills and competences and therefore can be matched by employment services to jobs Europe-wide. Or in another instance, subject B. A recruiter looking for the best candidates in Europe. He is having trouble understanding their CVs. They come in different languages and interpretations. Using the common language of ESCO, employers can assess CVs from different European countries regardless of where they come from. ESCO describes 3,000 occupations and 13,000 skills and competences and displays different qualifications in 26 languages and makes CVs and job vacancies more transparent. Then look here at Specimen C. She has just received a diploma from an Italian university but Swedish employers don't know what she has learned. Education and training providers can use ESCO to make their qualifications understandable in the 26 languages of ESCO. The testing phase of the beta version is over. So how can you get hold of ESCO and how much does it cost? ESCO is free and available for download in open format. Using ESCO is so seamless that most of its users won't even realise they are using it, let alone have to put on a pair of goggles. And thanks to ESCO, researchers will be able to monitor and forecast trends in the labour market and predict which skills will be in high demand in the future.